XRP.com, use code Q at checkout. It's easy, fast, legit. Save your time, save your money. Get the coins you want, get the team you want. Link down below me buying coins off this website. Stop gambling your money on packs. A6K.com, use code GOG. It's easy, fast, legit. What are you waiting on? Let's get the 2K23 team you want. Get the my team you want. Go there, save your money. Kurt Warner's here. 94 overall, six foot two. Now, first thing I want to say is 95 throwing power with the strat card, and you could get him 99 throw power. So he can zoom in there. And you see he gets three ability sauce. That's pretty disappointing. If you power him up though, you can get Sefi Lead and Fearless. You can also choose Gunslinger. Uh, but there's a couple things he's missing, and we're gonna get to that. And of course, I got Sefi Lead for this review, and his throwing power does feel good. And is he worth, I spent 1.1 million on this card. Pricey, let's get to the uh, card here. As you can see here, uh, watch his wind up. He does have a glove on, um, which is, <laughs> I guess, silly. Uh, his wind up is a little bit too big for me, right? Uh, short, medium, deep, especially deep throw. You're gonna see him wind that ball back and that's just not gonna be a good deal at all like right there you see um if he's in a pocket he's fine if he gets put out on a run guys he's a statue so if there's a lineman coming and you're used to just taking four steps to the left letting the ball loose throw the ball away you can't you're stuck you're sacked okay so as you see here i'm just sitting in the pocket um and that's what he's gonna be good for so giants cardinals rams and legends get a card today with him and with his price, guys, it's going to be hard to justify just a pocket passer at this point with not being the best release. I can say, um, yeah, you can use him. As you can see through this video, I'm throwing touchdowns with him, and he's usable, right? But for his price tag right now, it's insane. Uh, definitely not a good value at all. I would really consider looking somewhere else if you're thinking about buying him. Uh, well, who should you get? Uh, well, we know Aaron Rodgers is, has the best release in the game, but we're going to talk about that in just a minute and we're going to get my report card in just a second. I did want to say uh, the obvious stuff, Duke spin, none of that stuff works with him. Um, there is no running with him. It is a straight statue. And if I was you, if you have to have him, you've got to wait. You, this is not a buy now. For me, he's a skip. He's not a buy or weight um he's just never gonna be worth it because of his release right let me get to the report card and break him down for you so i can show you okay so yes gunslinger will help his release a little bit but he's still not gonna be like aaron Rodgers level his release is a b not good on the run not good accuracy is good from the pocket moves are a d overall he's a b plus guys he's really nothing special um really i i just i don't have a way to recommend him um i'm not gonna lie to you and and he's trigger happy on <laughs> pressure yeah, guys you have to put fearless okay if you're gonna run this card put fearless um uh, it's funny because his throwing pressure says 95 but then his says since pressure is trigger happy so anyways guys that's gonna do it for me um who should you get go get aaron Rodgers. Uh, if you can't afford him who should you get um, go get Matthew Stafford. Stafford will give you the same production as this card at a way cheaper price. Um, this card also does not get Hot Route Master, so keep that in mind. And that's what it did for me, guys. Be kind for no reason. Help each other. Encourage each other. I'll see you in the next video.